All right, guys, I finally got one of these done in the office uh, at the gym and not in my my house. So this is good. This is a good one, right? Um, so uh, today's quote of the day is from Dr. Martin Luther King. And the quote is, take the first step in faith. You don't have to see the whole staircase. Just take the first step. And I really like that metaphor. Um, I like the idea of not being able to see the steps on the staircase because I think we've all done that. We've all been, maybe you're carrying a laundry basket or, or, or groceries or something and you don't, you don't know how many steps there are and you go to take a step and there's no step or you go to, you know, there's maybe you think there's one too many or one too few or whatever. And there's that moment of panic, right? Where we have that feeling of, uh, man, I, I, you know, I, I'm a, what's going on, right? Where'd that step go? Or uh, why am I, you know, not ending up where I should be? And um, I, I wanted to talk about that aspect of the quote, uh, which is a little different than, you know, um, Dr. King definitely meant to trust in, in our processes, right? Whether it's the process of, uh, you know, fighting for civil rights or the process of, I mean, he didn't mean this, but the process of getting in shape, right? Training, those are important things. But we talk about that a lot here about trusting the process and, and, and believing in the system. I think there's another side to this, this idea of fear, right? Fear often stops us from taking steps in, uh, in the right direction. And what I've been talking about today with this quote, I've had the absolute honor over the years of training some Olympic caliber athletes. And you know, the, the selection process to even make it to the Olympics is terrifyingly hard, right? And what's great about that is a lot of those kids, they take the first step when they're really young and they're, it's just a dream, right? They don't even understand the fear of not making it. They just have that beautiful dream of going Olympics. And maybe they start when they're, uh, you know, four years old or six years old or whatever. Um, but that, that's, that's, you know, we, we were supposed to have Olympics this year. Uh, well, last year, 2020 in Tokyo. And they pushed it back to 2021. And we don't know if that's going to be a thing or not, right? We'll, we'll find out. Um, but imagine being one of those kids. And you've trained your whole life, maybe in fencing or discus or track and field, uh, tennis. Who knows, right? <laughs> you make it. You make it to the Olympics. And you find out it's not going to happen. Now... That could have been a fear at any point along the way, right? And now that you're confronting it, you probably have these thoughts of, man, was any of this ever worth it, right? I think it was. I think that the what we have to realize is that journey is important, right, in and of itself, whether or not it leads to success. And that's where our fear stems from. What if I fail? What if I fail, right? That's, that's where that fear comes from. Is, is it worth the hard work? Is it worth the effort if I fail? Think about that metaphor again of missing the step. <clears throat> Once that momentary panic is over, what do you realize? Ah, everything turned out okay. It's the same thing when we take steps towards a goal and maybe the staircase isn't quite what we thought it was gonna be. Maybe the, the journey turns out a little different we don't have the success we thought we were gonna have, we don't accomplish the dream that we had, the journey still has value. And the more you can isolate the value of the journey, the more you can put meaning to it, and that's how you can measure the meaning of your life, right? Was the journey good, right? Did I enjoy it? Did I have a good time? Or did I spend my whole time bogged down in fear, afraid to make a move? right? Dreading the possibility of failure. There's two sides to that. And I think if, if we can't see where the staircase is going, we have to go with faith, right? Not fear. And faith that even if the staircase isn't heading where we want it to go, it's still worth going up those stairs. So that's our thought for the day, guys. And uh, see you again tomorrow.